When most people hear the word probiotic, they think of bacteria like Lactobacillus acidophilus or Bifidobacterium. But Saccharomyces boulardii is different. It's not a bacterium, it's a yeast. Often marketed as a probiotic, Saccharomyces boulardii may be used during or after antibiotic treatment, but is it really a probiotic? And is it the best option for supporting your gut health. Let's take a deeper, more honest look at what Saccharomyces boulardii is and what it isn't. What exactly is Saccharomyces boulardii? Well, Saccharomyces boulardii is a strain of yeast. It's not a bacteria, and it was first isolated in the early 20th century from the skins of tropical fruits. And taxonomically, it's not even a distinct species. It's a subtype of Saccharomyces cervasia. And that's the same yeast that's used in baking and that's used to brew alcohol. And genetically, they are nearly identical. Now, studies have shown that it can have some benefits, Saccharomyces boulardii, in treating certain gut infections, and in particular, Clostridium difficile. And in theory, it doesn't permanently colonize the gut. Instead, it passes through the digestive tract, temporarily interacting with the gut environment before being eliminated. Now, is S. Boulardi really a probiotic? Now, this is where I think the conversation gets more interesting. Because while it's routinely labeled a probiotic, S. Boulardi isn't really a probiotic, certainly not in my book, and it doesn't meet the classic criteria of a probiotic. True probiotics are living bacteria, and they confer a health benefit when they colonize us in sufficient numbers. S. Boulardi, while it's alive and it's capable of interacting with the gut environment, it's not a bacteria, number one. It does not colonize the microbiome, number two, or at least you hope that it's not going to colonize your microbiome. And it doesn't restore or rebalance gut flora in a lasting way. So it may modulate the gut for a short period, but its effects are generally temporary and limited. And so it might be helpful in certain circumstances. Calling it a probiotic, though, in the traditional sense is highly debatable, if that. In fact, I don't like calling it a, a probiotic at all. And I have seen people, I've seen patients who have an overgrowth of Saccharomyces that is actually the cause of their symptoms. So I certainly don't call it a probiotic and I'm very cautious with using it. Now, when is it used in healthcare? So despite all these limitations, S. Boulardi is used in some medical situations and can have some value. Now, the first one is Clostridium difficile because there are studies that suggest that it may reduce the recurrence rate of Clostridium difficile infections when used with standard treatments. And so I have used it in cases of C. difficile. Another area is traveler's diarrhea, and some studies have also shown that it may help reduce symptoms during these acute digestive infections. Now that said, the benefits are usually modest, they're usually very short term, and it doesn't rebuild the microbiome or address deeper gut imbalances. It's more of a short term stopgap than a real long term solution. So this leads us to the next logical question, which is, is Saccharomyces boulardii better than other probiotics? Now, not necessarily. In fact, in many cases, bacterial probiotics, more of the standard kind of probiotics that you think of, are far more appropriate and superior for treating things than S. boulardii. So if you're dealing with something like chronic digestive issues, maybe IBS or SIBO or leaky gut, or autoimmune conditions, or you're trying to rebuild a healthy gut microbiome for whatever reason, and it may be even after years of damage, or you've got candida, 
or SIFO, which is fungal overgrowth, then using a yeast like Saccharomyces boulardii is not the right tool. And I would never use yeast, especially to treat candida or a yeast overgrowth. And I have not seen S. boulardii work well in these types of cases, and it doesn't restore the complex ecosystem of beneficial bacteria that you need and that's crucial for your long-term digestive and immune health. So in those cases, a multi-strain, high-quality bacterial probiotic, especially that's tailored to these kind of conditions, it's much more effective in my experience than, than anything like S. boulardii. And so I'm talking about something like our full spectrum probiotic, which we use here at our clinic, which is far superior to treating these kind of conditions than S. boulardii ever could be. Now, these kinds of probiotics can reseed the gut, can compete with pathogens, the bad guys can produce important byproducts like short chain fatty acids, and even can communicate with the immune system in important ways that Saccharomyces boulardii just simply can't do. So to summarize, Saccharomyces boulardii is often overhyped. It's not useless, but it only has a very specific and narrow application, and that's mostly for helping to treat Clostridium difficile, and it works best when used appropriately and temporarily. And if you're serious about restoring gut health, don't rely on this only one ingredient on a yeast type of thing that might be called a probiotic. A thoughtful, individualized approach using the right strains of bacteria and the right dosing and the right timing makes all the difference in the world. Now, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more honest and reality-based information about your health that you just simply can't get most other places. And if you need more personalized care, give us a call at the IBS Treatment Center. We have been working with people around the world via telemedicine since 2005. Thank you for watching and remember to take good care of your body. It's the only place that you have to live. Thank you for watching. We create informative videos like this weekly. So if you enjoyed it, please help our channel by sharing a screenshot or the link to the video on Facebook or Instagram or your favorite social media. And be sure to tag me wherever you post and let me know what you liked about the video and what topics you'd like me to discuss in the future. If you visit our website at ibsstreamingcenter.com, we're currently offering a free ebook on how to beat IBS, so be sure to check that out. It's time to take control of your digestive problems and get your life back. I'd also appreciate it if you could subscribe to our channel here, like this video, and leave a comment or question below. I'll do my best to read and respond to all of them. Thank you, and until next time.